Welcome everyone to this feel good full body yoga practice. We are now halfway through our 10 day feel better, move better yoga challenge. And as always, we start in a comfortable seated position with the eyes closed to check in with how you're feeling. Check in with the breath, letting it be slow and steady. And our phrase for today's practice to reflect upon and see what that may spark for you will be the following. Today, I will take care. Today, I will take care. And you may like to repeat it internally and think about what that sparks for you. And then blinking the eyes open, we'll begin with a neck stretch. So bringing the right ear towards the right shoulder, crawling the left fingertips away, maybe weighing down the head with your right hand. And breathing into wherever you feel any stretching sensation. Now turn the chin down towards that right shoulder, shifting the right hand to the back of the head, and just changing the angle of the stretch a little bit. And you can help that head back to center. We'll go to the other side, left ear to left shoulder, crawling right hand away, maybe adding on the weight of the left hand. And turning the chin towards the shoulder, feeling sensation more in the back of the neck now. Still grounding both sit bones down towards the earth. And then bringing the head back to center, extend your right leg out at a diagonal, left sole towards the inner right thigh. We'll simply walk our way into a forward fold over that extended leg. So any amount, it may be early in the day for you, hamstrings may not quite have woken up yet, so let's give them a chance. Let's take care of our bodies. A few breaths here. And then lifting your way back up, planting both heels to the mat and swiveling the hips. Little windshield wiper motion here, going really slowly. Maybe moving with your breath. Next time your knees are over towards the right, finding deer pose, two right angles more or less with the knees. And you can sit up tall or fold forwards over the right knee any amount. Let the chin fall towards the chest. How will you take care today? And who will you take care of? And then pressing your way back up. We'll cross the legs once more. Rolling the shoulders back. And then interlace the hands behind the back. Open up through the heart. And start turning the head left and right. Looking over one shoulder and then the other. Pulling the hands away from you. If that feels like a little too much, you can also hold on to opposite elbows. And then hold your head to the right and lean back. Maybe your knuckles can even kiss the ground behind you. And release that and other side, turning the head left, leaning back just a little bit, noticing what happens, how that feels, and releasing. 
Really nice. You can shake the hands out and extend through the left leg to fold the upper body forwards over that leg. And throughout this practice, of course, if something doesn't feel right in your body, then remember our motto for today and take care of yourself by maybe backing up a little bit. You know yourself best. And let's straighten up through that spine. We'll plant the heels in front once more wider than your hips for a few more windshield wipers. Thanking yourself for taking care just by showing up today. And you can hold on the left side, perhaps walking yourself forwards, observing differences on this second side. And letting every exhale sink you that little bit further. And then press your way back up. We'll simply come to hands and knees, shoulders over wrists, hips over knees. And then once you've arrived, we'll take some circular cat-cow motion. So taking the rib cage around in a big circle in one direction, letting everything get involved from the tailbone to the mid-back, even into the neck. Reversing the direction of that circle. Really articulating through the entire spine. Beautiful, you can release that motion. We'll step the right foot forwards into a lunge. Both hands are to the inside of that foot. And you can start to lift and lower that right heel. So just lifting and lowering a few times. You're always welcome to pull your left knee in a little bit if the lunge is a little too far forwards. Really nice. And then we'll come back to hands and knees, shake that off, let it go, and walk your hands backwards until you end up into a tall kneel. We'll inhale the arms up overhead and exhale twist right, so left arm forwards. And inhale back to center, exhale to twist the other way. Inhaling up, exhale, left arm goes forwards, right arm back and keep going. Every time you twist, looking over that back shoulder, Keeping the hips facing forwards, just twisting from the navel. Last twist here. And then exhale, bring your hands back to the mat. Step the left foot forwards outside the hands into your lunge. And whenever you're ready, you can start to lift and lower that front heel. Perhaps noticing which part of the body needs to work to help you create this movement. And then we're going to come to a wide-legged forward fold. So walk your hands over towards the right, lifting off of that back knee. Inhale to a straight spine and exhale forward fold. So take your time getting here. The feet are quite far apart outside edges of the feet parallel to the short edge of your yoga mat. And you're welcome to shake out the neck here, or perhaps hold on to the legs to help yourself a little further into the fold. Make this posture your own, take care of yourself, and breathe. And then releasing the hands back to the mat, inhale to straighten the spine. Start toe ball healing, the feet a little bit closer together, toes out. 
And you can simply rock your way from side to side. So bending into one knee and then the other. And then keeping both knees bent, we'll climb the hands onto the thigh and start some shoulder dips. So bringing the right shoulder towards the center line and then pressing back to center. And now left shoulder towards the center. So keep going with that a few more times. Moving with your breath, think about pressing the knees outwards, opening up through the hips. And last one. And then the hands come back to the mat. We'll wiggle the feet in towards each other all the way and then lower down onto the balls of the feet. Heels are lifted. You can swivel yourself a little bit from side to side here. Maybe rock forwards and back. Fingertips are supporting you. Just stretching into the feet a little bit. And we'll come to a seat with the legs out in front of you. And roll down onto the back. Nicely done. Once you've arrived, pull the right knee in towards the chest and you can keep the left foot flat or extend the leg long. We'll start circling that right knee, little circles with the help of your hands. Maybe even closing the eyes here. And switch directions. You can hold right here, pulling the right knee out towards the right. Or perhaps take a half happy baby, holding the sole of the foot and encouraging that right knee towards the ground. So whichever option works best for you. And you can release whatever you had hold of. Planting the right foot again to pull the left knee in towards the chest. Perhaps you choose to extend through the right leg. And beginning to circle the knee. Little baby circles in one direction. So obviously when we think about feeling better and moving better as we switch directions in our bodies and minds, as is the aim of this yoga challenge, we need to take care of ourselves. And then open that left knee out to the side, either holding there or taking your half happy baby. Listen to whatever it is that your body needs. Honor that. Remember that we're all doing the best we can. And you can release hold of whatever you had hold of. Bring the feet flat to the mat. We'll take a few bridge poses here. So arms alongside the body, squeeze the glutes to lift the hips up. And then lower yourself slowly down. So you can breathe out as you squeeze and lift one vertebrae at a time. And inhale as you return the spine to the mat. Just two more. Moving really slowly. And then bring the soles of the feet together, the knees out wide, supine butterfly. Bring your left hand to your heart, right hand to the belly. Close the eyes if you haven't already and just appreciate the sensation of the breath flowing through these areas, feeling the hands rise and fall slightly with the inhales and exhales. You can stay exactly as you are, perhaps move towards Shavasana by extending the legs out, turning the palms upwards. Releasing any effort in the body, 
brain, the breath. Silence and peace. With your next breath, beginning to wiggle fingers, toes, perhaps reaching up overhead, getting long. And rolling to one side, we all meet in a comfortable seated posture. Hands to prayer in front of the chest, refocusing and recommitting to the idea that today, I will take care. Repeat this phrase to yourself, perhaps finish it for yourself in a way that seems right to you. And as always, thank you so much for joining me. Well done on this day five. And I'm excited to see you tomorrow for day six. I would love for you to join us for this complete 10 day yoga challenge. You can do so by clicking the first link in the description box right below this video, which will also get you access to an exclusive meditation practice designed to accompany the challenge. Please make sure you are subscribed to my YouTube channel and that you've hit the like button if you enjoyed this practice, and I'll see you again on the mat very soon.